Welcome to the Winter Solstice Festival, a magical time when the town square comes alive with the scent of spiced cider and the glow of the ancient lantern. This is chapter three of our story, where the air is thick with anticipation and the townsfolk gather to witness the lantern's magic. Join us as we delve into the heart of this enchanting festival, where hope and tension intertwine beneath the frosty sky. Alara stood at the heart of the gathering, her breath visible in the frosty air, mingling with the whispers of the townsfolk who had come to witness the lantern's magic. The ancient lantern, a magnificent structure of stained glass and wrought iron, pulsed with a warm glow, illuminating the faces of those who dared to hope. Yet, beneath the surface of this festive atmosphere, a current of tension thrummed, palpable and electric. Alara's heart raced as she felt the weight of the moment pressing down upon her. The resistant spirit loomed in her mind, a shadowy figure that embodied her deepest regrets. It was a specter of her past, a reminder of the loss she had never fully confronted. As she stepped closer to the lantern, the light flickered, casting dancing shadows that seemed to beckon her forward. The townsfolk, their eyes fixed on the glowing beacon, were unaware of the battle that raged within her. Nina stood at the edge of the crowd, her sharp blue eyes wide with a mixture of skepticism and concern. She had watched Alara's journey unfold, her own doubts slowly giving way to a burgeoning understanding of the lantern's power. The tension between them had simmered, but now, as Alara prepared to face the spirit, Nina felt a surge of empathy. She stepped forward, her voice cutting through the murmurs of the crowd. Alara, you don't have to do this alone. Alara turned, her bright green eyes meeting Nina's. In that moment, the barriers that had formed between them began to dissolve. I have to face it, Nina. I need to understand. The lantern's glow intensified, bathing the square in a golden light that felt almost alive. Alara took a deep breath, feeling the warmth seep into her bones, a stark contrast to the chill of her fears. Alara stepped into the light, the world around her shifting as she was transported to a realm of memories, a swirling tapestry of colors and echoes that whispered of the past. Before her stood the resistant spirit, a figure cloaked in shadows, its features indistinct yet familiar. Alara's heart pounded as she approached, the spirit's presence a mirror reflecting her own pain. What do you want from me? She asked, her voice steady despite the turmoil within. The spirit remained silent, but Alara could feel its sorrow, a deep well of regret that resonated with her own. She reached out, her hand trembling as it passed through the spirit's form, a coldness that sent shivers down her spine. Memories flooded her mind, her mother's laughter, the warmth of their shared moments, and the heart-wrenching loss that had followed. 